Hello YouTube, this is RJ, and uh, before I start on this video, I just want to ask that everybody read that information to your left. It'll explain a lot about this video that I can't fit in here. So, straight into it. Um, Phoebe Prince. I can't imagine what she went through, and I was horrified when she, I heard that she had died and killed herself because I can relate so well to her situation. I went to South Valley High School bullied in South Hadley High School all four years and that was because for most of my life I was a prime target for bullies I had no courage to st or self-confidence no friends very few anyway um, very shy and awkward bullies tormented me all the time it was terrible and the reason that I'm ta posting this video is because um, I've been seeing conflicting statements in the media. Um, I've seen statements from teachers and students saying that Phoebe, they knew that Phoebe Prince was getting bullied and they tried to intervene and uh, report it to the appropriate personnel, but to no avail. And also, statements from Superintendent of Schools Gus Sayer saying that nobody knew that Phoebe was getting bullied until a week before her death. I have so much trouble believing that. And that's because of my situation at South Haley High School. I was neglected. I, The problem that I was bullied so often, and mo the truth is most of that could have been avoided if it wasn't for neglect by teachers and staff. Neglect. It's a strong word, but there's no other word for it. Refusal to intervene. It, my biggest hurdles were probably teachers and guidance counselors. Um, Guidance counselors first. The problem with the guidance counselors were that they didn't. They never treated bullying like it was a, like it was actually bullying. They always treated it like a disagreement between students. You know, something that can be just smoothed over, talk to the student, make him feel better. But that doesn't do anything to stop the bullying. What about making me feel better about the situation at hand would keep the bully from coming back for more and more and more the next days? It wouldn't. And that was why this one particular girl was able to bully me again and again and again for uh, three years straight so freshman through junior year it was awful and she just loved she just loved it and she never got in trouble for it either which was half the reason why she I'd like to think why she kept coming back it was just awful and teachers too they, their situations can less be justified, not at all, because when bullying happened in their class, it's their responsibility to notice it and make sure that doesn't happen. Like for example, um, there was this one time my sophomore year of high school in a class where that girl that I was just talking about was in, and she was throwing paper balls at me across the classroom while the teacher was talking and giving his, le his lecture. and. It was unbelievable. Um, t the paper balls are coming at me all the time. I, at one point, I turned around and told her to knock it off, and she flipped out on me in the middle of class, in front of everyone. Told me that she was doing nothing. Um, I was just trying to get her in trouble. Turn around, shut up. End of story. Teacher said nothing this whole time, at all. And at one point, I asked him for help, and. He, I told him I was getting bullied, can you please help me? And he looked at me and shrugged and said, I'm doing the best I can. He had done absolutely nothing. Now, if that's the best he could do, something's very wrong. And other teachers showed this same thing, too. Administrative personnel, too. Yes, administrative personnel, the very ones who are supposed to keep the school together. And that's what something huge that I want to share with you today. Um, it was my senior year of gym. Uh, senior year of gym. It was my senior year in gym class. And that was probably one of the worst bullying incidents that ever happened to me. That's always going to hold a special place in my heart. Um, there was a select group of, of very popular students in that class that would always call me names. They'd make sure I got picked last for captains. When we did captains, they'd throw me down in the mud. They would pull out my flag and flag football and start screaming, RJ pulled out his own flag, what an idiot! 
everybody in the class would laugh at me, even the gym teacher. Oh yeah, gym teacher too. He was riding alongside. He just admired these students so much, so much. It was awful, and duh, it just drives me insane. That drove me insane. It happened on a daily basis for weeks and weeks. And so I went to the gym teacher on numerous occasions, but he wouldn't help me. I can specifically call, recall one time when I was getting bullied, there were balls being thrown at me, and I went to Mr. N, as I'll call him, and I told him that I was getting bullied. And I'll never forget what he did. He looked me in the eye and shrugged and said to me, what do you want me to do about it? And walked away. Unbelievable. My next option, I went to a guidance counselor. Big mistake. She said that there was nothing that she could do. Absolutely nothing. She told me that I had to stay in the class. I had no choice because gym was a requirement and could not be waived under any circumstances. I told her I was getting bullied. She said that doesn't change anything. My next option was to go to the athletic director. And, oh boy, was that a mistake? He actually listened to me. He listened to me when I told him everything. I was in his office in tears, and he told me, what he told me now was that he would look into it, quote unquote, and I would have to go back to gym class the next day. Now, that's not a satisfactory response, is it? But I was just so relieved that somebody was actually listening to me and taking me seriously that I said yes. And I agreed, and I went back. Next day of class, I was bullied worse than ever. Gym teacher noticed nothing. It was three quarters of the class, at least, that was pushing me around. Excuse me, quite literally in some cases too. And gym teacher never noticed anything. So I had to go back. So I left that class in tears. And I went back to the athletic director's office. He shouted at me there. I walked in. I sat down. I tried to explain to him what had happened. I said, I'm getting, I'm still getting heat. I walked in and he said, look, RJ, what is it today? Taking it back. I said, they're bullying me. They're bullying me, coach. I, just like yesterday. And he said to me, now are they really bullying you or do you just have some idea in your head that they're bullying you? I said, no, no, they really are bullying me. So what do you want me to do about it? I sobbed. I, I just had no idea what to do with myself. I was just terrified. I, I knew I would have to go back to class the next day, and nobody was believing me. So eventually he said to me, at that same point, he said, go back to class tomorrow, and if they bully you again, then we'll talk. And I just wanted to get out of that office so badly, I said yes. So my parents called the school. They got things straightened out. And guess which athletic director, a certain athletic director, was in the conference room with me the next day, wringing my hand like a wet sponge and apologizing over and over again. Yep. And so there was intervention by Gus Sayer. There was intervention by Mr. Smith. But the, but the strange part was nobody was punished. None of those students were punished. Um, the gym teacher I never saw again. I think he was removed. Uh, athletic director stayed on, and when my and when uh, Gus Sayer called my mom as a follow up, he wouldn't say whether any disciplinary action had been taken. He just wanted to comment on. He all he just kept saying over and over again was that it was being looked into. Simple as that. I'm running out of time now, but that's all I wanted to share. Um, there's so many more things I could share with you about. Um, the goings on and dealings with bullying at Sally Hadley High. Um, if I get enough subscriptions, comments, ratings, etc., etc., I'd be more than happy to make another video and share with you some of my more, some more of my experiences. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.